Hi everyone, welcome to the game level channel. Today I want to show you how you can speed up or slow down a video. You can use this technique for sports, drone shot and dance videos. For this purpose, we use Videoproc Vlogger software. This software is free and you can download it from the internet. Open the software. In the project name field, type a name for the project. In the location field, select the project storage location. I choose the desktop. You can set the video resolution from this section. I choose 1920 by 1080. From this section, you can set the frame rate in terms of frames per second. I choose 30. If you want to enter the desired video resolution, check the custom video resolution and enter the desired value. Finally, click on new project. Drag the desired video and drop it here. Drag the video and drop it on the timeline. Hold the control key and zoom up with the mouse scroll. Play the video. Well, we want the speed to increase for the first second. Then slow down as the car approaches the corner. To the sixth second. Then speed up again. For this purpose, click on speed. There are different speed templates in this section. You can choose any one according to your needs. Since I want the speed to increase first, then decrease and then increase again, I choose bullet. Here the gray line is based on the original speed of the video. If the yellow line is higher than the gray line, it means an increase in speed. And if the yellow line is lower than the gray line, it means slowing down. Now we play the video. Well, now I want to apply the necessary settings. I drag the first keyframe and bring it down to 2. We also reduce the second keyframe to 2. We do the same for keyframes 5 and 6. Since I want the deceleration to start after the first second, I set the speed mark to 1 second. And since I want the speed increase to start after the 6th second, I set the speed mark to 6 seconds. Now we play the video. As you can see, the speed of the video was increased and decreased according to the settings. You can also add more speed marks by clicking on add point for more precise settings. And you can also remove speed marks by clicking on delete point. Finally, click on apply. Click on export to export the video. In this section, you can type the name of the file. In this section, you can specify the file storage location. In this section, you can specify the file format. In this section, you can specify the quality of the file. I choose high. The higher the number, the higher the quality. In this section, 
you can specify the video codec. From this section, you can set the frame rate in terms of frames per second. In this section, you can specify the audio codec. In this section, you can specify the sample rate. I choose 48,000. In this section, you can specify the audio channel. In this section, you can specify the bitrate. I choose 320. Make sure to check the enable hardware acceleration for encoding option. Finally, click on start. The operation was completed successfully. Let's check the output video file. I hope this video was useful to you. If you wish, you can subscribe to this channel. If you click on the bell, you will receive a notification as soon as a new video of me is released. By clicking like, you can help more people see this video. Thanks for watching this video.